hi guys welcome back to the channel and today's video we're gonna learn how to create this six scale smile rating charts a very helpful tool in visualizing data for all audiences so stick around and let's get into it so the first step is to create smiley faces let's insert a circle let's insert another circle let's make it smaller Let's drag this to this point, then we can make it white. Let's scale. Okay. Now let's insert a block arc. Let's add horizontal guides. Let's drag this to the bottom. Okay. Now let's adjust this. Let's duplicate, let's just drag this to this point. Then we can also adjust this. Okay. Let's move this to this point. Let's scale a little bit. Let's make the shape white, with no outline to undo. Let's drag to the center. Let's scale again. Make sure it's aligned properly. Okay, now we can duplicate. Align. Now let's group. Let's align to the center of the circle. Okay, now let's select all and duplicate. Just drag this to the side. Okay. Now we can flip this vertically. Now let's adjust to match. Okay, now we can select all and duplicate. Let's drag to the side again. Let's scale this. That looks good. Let's align to the center. Let's adjust a little bit. Okay, select all, duplicate, Let's drag to the side again. Let's flip this. Let's flip it vertically. Okay, adjust. That looks good. Now let's select all again. Let's duplicate. And let's insert a rectangle. And let's reduce the length a little bit. I think it should be good. Let's reduce the width. Now let's align. Delete this. Now let's select, let's duplicate, let's create the last smiley face. Delete this, let's drag this to this point. Let's bring it to the front. You can scale. Let's check the dimensions of the other arcs just to confirm. Okay. Now let's change the length and the width. Just to match, that looks good. Let's align to the center of the circle. Okay, now let's insert some more rectangles.
Can rotate this. Let's make it a white fill with no outline. Just drag this. Let's ungroup. Duplicate this. Then let's flip it horizontally. Let's just align. Let's select the circle. Let's add a dark red color. Let's remove the outline so we can repeat the same process for other faces. Okay, that looks good. So now let's group each face. Okay, so now we can remove the guide. We don't longer need them. Now let's create a smart rating scale. So let's insert a new slide. One of the quickest ways to create a circle with equally divided parts is to use charts. So let's insert a donut chart. So basically we want to create a circle divided into six equal parts. So for that, let's add some more rules here. Let's make them all the same values. You can just drag this down. Okay. So now we've created our circle with six equal parts. So you can just double click on this, adjust the whole size. And just adjust it a little bit. Okay. Okay, I think this is good. So we can remove the border. Let's just select all the objects. Select no line, yeah. And we can select the charts, let's cut. Now let's paste special, let's paste as an SVG. Okay, now let's ungroup, let's click yes. Now we can ungroup again. All right, now we have our six divided parts. So let's change the colors to match the faces. All right, so we have our rating scale. Let's just insert the faces. Let's copy this. Let's paste. We can just scale a little bit. Okay. Let's align the faces. So I believe that looks good. So you can just select all objects, then group. So then share is aligned to the center and to the middle of the slide. Now let's create a rotator. So let's insert a circle. Just make it small. Now we can align to the center, then align to the middle. Now let's insert a triangle. Let's make it a little bit long. No, it's too long, let's just reduce this. Okay. So let's ensure it's the same width with the circle. 
All right, so we can just move this to this point. Now we can align to the circle. Let's just ensure it's aligned properly. Great. So now we can select both objects and group. Okay, we can change the color to black. Then we can remove the outline. All right. So now we'll need to change the object rotation center because it rotates like this. It's just all over the place. And this is not what we want. So let's change the rotation center. So for that, we'll need to insert another circle. Just make the circle big. We can just use the same dimension of the chart. So I'll just use the same dimension of the chart. Now we can align this to the center, then align to the middle. Let's remove the fill. Let's just open up selection pane. Now let's select the group object and the circle and group. Now if you rotate, it rotates properly. This is what we want. Excellent. So let's undo. Now you can select the circle, then remove the outline so that it becomes invisible. That's great. So now let's just select all objects, group, then we can reduce the size. I think that is good. No. Yeah, that's good. So let's just drag to the left a little bit. Then we can insert text and object. So let's start with some text. Just need to insert some text to describe the chart. I'm going for performance rating chart in this video. All right, so you can adjust the font size. Select this, reduce. And just make it bigger. And you can make this a little bit bigger, yeah. And let's reduce the line spacing. I think that should be good, yeah. So now let's insert this shape. Just to describe the rating. So ensure it's aligned to the center of the scale. Format the text to match the performance rating. So average is this kind of like blank face with no expression. So let's just make it yellow. Let's remove the outline. Let's add a bit of shadow to the object just to make it stand out. Um, okay, we can just insert a black color. That should be good. And increase the transparency. We can do the same for the scale. Then ensure the scale is selected. And we can insert a black color to increase the transparency. Okay, that looks good. 
So now we need to add the value. Just add another text box. Just give it a right now 6.0, so a little bit above average. Can okay, increase the font size. And just align it properly. Yeah, I think that looks good. Now let's match the colors. So we can make this yellow too. Alright. So let's select all objects. Let's group. Align to the center, then align to the middle. And we can ungroup. Yeah, so everything is properly aligned. Now, obviously we can just drag this manually to the points we want, just like this. However, in this tutorial, we are gonna learn how to do that with animations. So let's undo this and let's add animation to the rotator. With the rotator selected, let's add a spin animation. Okay, now we want the start position to be from the angry face. So let's just rotate to that point. So it starts from there. That's wonderful. So let's open up the animation pane and show the animation starts with previous and we can enter effect options and change the amount to 180 degrees I think that's good we can also add a bounce end of 0.7 okay as you can see now we can add fade animation to this object so it appears after the rotator reach the blank expression. So let's add the fade animation. Let's ensure it starts with previous. Then add a delay of say 2.3 just so it starts after the spin animation. Let's check it out. Uh, that's perfect so if you want to change the rating let's say you want to change it to 10 okay let's change the color to match the scale change it to green okay you see you can make this 10 or 10.0 whatever rating you like so let's change the color of this shape to match. Let's just delete all this and type excellent. Yes. Now we can change the amounts of the spin animation. And let's change it to say 280 degrees. I think that should work. As you can see, it rotates to that point. So guys, that's how you improve data visualization in your PowerPoint presentation by using a smart rating scale that can be understood by every audience. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Kindly support the channel by liking this video, leave a comment, also subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more of this amazing PowerPoint content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.